Welcome to Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It's hump day. Happy hump day. Welcome to Better Connecticut. I'm Kara Sondland. Scott Haney here. How you doing? I'm good. I, this is like an end of an era. Yeah. The man that we grew up with. I'm really happy for him, but um, the man who's played Big Bird and voiced Oscar the Grouch since the 60s. Carol Spinney is now retiring, and he's from Connecticut. So the bird is not retiring, nor is Oscar, but he is going to be... He's the voice. He's the voice. So and has been the puppeteer for a long time, too. He was actually in the costume for so many years, in the yeah. Big Bird costume, up until a couple of years ago so uh, we want to just want to wish him he lives here in Woodstock Connecticut and we just want to wish him the best there I wonder he what he's is. gonna do in his retirement he's going he's but he's 80 is he 86 so he's God uh, bless he, him right so he's, he's been working a long time that's a long time to work good for him 50 years 84 I'm sorry 84 okay Which, Close. by the way the life expectancy reports came out this morning and they're longer in the United States, we're now going up to 80. For Big Bird or for Just humans? Just humans. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's going up to 80? Yeah. If you live in, like, Spain and Norway, it's 85. Really? <laughs> they have a little less stress over I there. gotta move. <laughs> All right, so Piers Morgan has taken some heat after posting a picture of uh, Daniel Craig, you know, a.k.a. 007. Well, it, it, He's it, holding his baby it, in a baby Bjorn, and he writes, Oh, 007, not you as well. Hashtag papoose. Hashtag emasculated bond. What does that even mean? Because really? you're holding a baby? Because you're holding your child? I don't get this this whole thing. I think it's Piers He's Morgan. He's catching a lot of flack, and people are posting pictures of dads holding babies all over his feet. Yeah, and Piers just, Morgan is digging his heels in. He's putting up more photos of, like, him holding babies. And I don't know. He's kind of like... saying just, that you shouldn't wear it in a carrier. Just carry your child. What? 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 what, what? The, the carrier is what makes you able to hike with said baby. And speaking of babies, Pippa Middleton, sister of Kate Middleton, is a new mom. Yes. She's a new mom, Kara. This, this news sort of got a little sideline yeah, with side Meghan lines. Markle saying she was pregnant. Right. But on Monday, Pippa Middleton, the sister of Kate, she uh, delivered a baby boy. He was a nice big boy, eight pounds, nine ounces. Wow, that's a big baby. Big baby. Ooh. Everyone is delighted and mother and baby are doing well. Aw. And since we haven't actually been on the air since y'all learned that Meghan Markle, Prince Harry's wife, is expecting, video is coming in of when they visit this local school in Australia. I thought it was so cool she wore the, um, to one of these occasions, she wore butterfly earrings the way Diana wore them to oh, Australia so when she was that. pregnant with Harry. I didn't know that. And so she's going here and... Um, people have been speculating, was there a bump or all these things for so long, but now it's out there and they're happy, happy, happy. Boy, what, what a dramatic change of life for her, though. Why, yeah. Right? Why? Her friends are saying that they knew that she would try, but they didn't expect it to happen so quickly. So, good, yeah, quick, quick, quick. There's a royal baby flush going on. Lots of royal babies. Absolutely. All right, spoiler alert. We now know how ABC decided to deal with the next, with the exit of Roseanne Barr. Yeah, from Roseanne. So in the debut of the new show, which they're calling The Connors, because Roseanne was killed off, she was killed off in an opioid overdose. That's pretty significant. I mean, it's very timely, right? But Roseanne is not happy about this. No. She is tweeting things like, I'm still I alive. ain't dead. Uh, uh, uh. And she also issued this uh, statement with her <laughs> rabbi and basically saying that this was an opportunity, this show is a family show, and this was a really morbid way to kind of ruin a happy family show. I, I'm, I'm actually shocked that they didn't leave it open-ended where she just went off somewhere just in the event that maybe one day she would come back, but now that character is dead. I think they want to make sure she wasn't coming back. Uh, they, they certainly did. They made sure she wasn't coming back. Okay. Who came back from the dead? Oh, the, Dan, he came back from the dead when they, re, when they redid the show. That's right. Tracy, our producer. So you can, anything can happen in anything TV. Anything can happen in TV. All right, this is crazy. Did you hear the story out of California? Bizarre. You, know, you might have heard about teenagers putting things in brownies and cookies that they shouldn't, but this one, it's uh, maybe takes, takes it the cake. The oh, students uh, actually are accused of putting the ashes of one of the student's grandparents and baking them into the cookies. That's just, why would you do that? And then they gave them out to their friends, and they told the friends to eat the cookies. So they were eating you know, the what? ashes of their grandparents. That is disgusting. Real, yeah. Ugh. I'm sure there's a crime involved there, too. There's got to be a crime involved there, too, right? Def, uh, I don't know. R r ruination of cremains? I don't know. It's terrible. All right, so $868 million. That's how much Friday Night's drawing is going to be because nobody won Mega Millions, all right? Now it's the third largest lottery jackpot in U.S. history. It's the largest Mega Millions ever. Two people in Connecticut did win $10,000. I will take ten. Th I will take $10. If I won $10, I would be very happy. $868 million. And you're telling me that that's not the largest jackpot in the history of lotteries? No, there's one that was $1.5 billion and like 
people in three different states won it. Oh my gosh! But and Powerball. This is what it's I'm playing. So tiny. It's only 345 million. <laughs> <laughs> so together, if you win both, and the odds are in your favor, not um, you could be over a billionaire. You'd be over. Have could you over imagine? a billion. No dollars. one's gonna win. Can could you imagine, imagine one, person win? Won, one person won both? Oh no. my, and the lotto is 6.5 million here in Connecticut. So uh, remember, if you're not in it, you can't win it. But don't and make sure you bet with your head, not over it. If you win the lottery, or maybe if you don't, you could probably still maybe squeak one of these. <laughs> these are genes <laughs> I that are meant to block flatulence. What do they so have? So if you in have them? a little moment, they have carbon panels in them, and they say they stop your farts from smelling. That is really delightful. <laughs> I don't really have it. They're $131, just in case you're interested in buying they them. They make chair cushions and underwear, too. <laughs> that is really wonderful. I know what I'm getting you for Christmas. All right, now, <laughs> Halloween is a fun time of year to throw a party. Our entertaining expert, Lee Morsas, is here with some spooky inspiration to get everyone in the mood for Halloween. She even and brought she, her own costume. She even dressed up for us, which I think <laughs> is absolutely awesome. And I love that everything that Lee Moore teaches us is easy. So this is, um, let's just start with this. This is a box tomb. Yes, this is a box tomb. Uh, so what I've done here is everyone has, you know, shipping boxes around their house. Sure. So instead of buying a costume, I made one. And this is an ice cream sandwich oh. uh, made out of the Amazon smile boxes. Yeah. So basically what you can see is I just took like the, I opened the box on the outside, on the inside. And then on the outside, you make them flat like this. Okay. And then you, so you put them like one on this side, open one, put it in the center, and then t attach them all together, and then just put black craft paper on uh, one side with little holes, and then just uh, white What'd you craft attach them with, a glue gun? Glue gun, or you can do like glue dots, or you can do whatever, rubber you know, any cement. adhesive, a rubber cement. That would be fun. You could do the Elmer's adhesive glue. There's so many glue but options. But, Alimo, <laughs> what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask you to do for this segment is to think outside the box. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. So, all right. For all of us who are going to be hosting some Halloween goodies, and I think, you know, it's so fun for the kids. We do a little Halloween party at our house, but as you know, every year I wait for you to come on because then we just steal all your ideas. Exactly. So, <laughs> to, uh, this is, you know, so every year I make your hot dog mummies, and we have those today, but I have some other ideas for you as well. So, you don't, if, especially if you're having a pre trick or treat party, you okay. want to make sure that you're getting the kids something hearty to eat. Yeah. And so, this is actually one of my favorite soups. It's uh, from Idaho, and it's their creamy uh, potato soup. And all you do is you just boil water, pour the mix in, and it's ready in five minutes. And then what I've done here is I just took little cauldrons Yum. and I poured the soup in there and everyone can kind of just kind of grab it and drink it. And it's really nice and hearty. And it really is like a restaurant quality soup. It really is just so delicious. So clever. But takes like no time to, to make. So just getting the cauldrons at a craft store and then that yeah. makes it cute. And that's great because they can run around with them. Exactly. Yeah. They, they can even walk around yeah, uh, with them as well. I'll just give this. I know it's a little cold, but I'm just trying to do it. <laughs> it's right. been out for a little while, but spooky it's delicious. Spooky deviled eggs. Okay, so spooky oh, deviled. Oh, good. It's good soup, right? Really um, good. So these are spooky deviled eggs. So what I've done here uh, is I actually, to make life easier, I just bought the eggs already pre-boiled, like in a bag. Oh, yeah. Uh, cut them in half and then just take out the yolks, mix it up with mayo, salt, and pepper. And then I made spiders out of olives. So you cut them in half. And then you just uh, start slicing them and then just do three legs on one side and three legs on the other. But then as I was prepping, I was putting the eyeballs, the olives in, and I realized They're they look like eyeballs. So you don't even have to make the spiders if you don't want to. And you could just put the, you could just slice the olives in half and I put them in there. I actually am thinking that you could just put one black olive in the cauldron and that would look like eyeball <laughs> soup. <laughs> eyeball soup, exactly. So the just, next is my favorite of all time. This I make every year after you taught me yes. to do it and they, they go. Like, I never have one left. Everybody, the adults eat them, the kids eat them. My husband wanted to make sure that I made extra for him last night so that he would have them. So these are mummy hot dogs. You just take the Pillsbury uh, crescent rolls, you uh, make them really thin, and then actually they actually uh, have crescent sheets now, so you don't even have to, you don't need the whole, like you don't need like the, it's not a triangle anymore. So that it's actually fantastic. much easier to do the strips. And you cut in strips, and I know you just wrap and them around. And you just wrap them around. And you just, it, it doesn't matter if it gets messy or whatever, because it just looks good and when you put but them all leave together. leave a little spot, because it's not Sometimes you'd put the mustard eyeballs. Yeah, eye. so sometimes I put the mustard <laughs> eyeballs in. Today I didn't do that, but you can you can do that, or uh, you can probably just take a little piece of the uh, olives that you're using and just put them as eyeballs as uh, well. That is so clever, so clever. So then we have boo nanas. So basically, uh, what I've done, my little one is obsessed with bananas. So what I've done here is I just slice them in half, put little chocolate chips for eyes, and that's it. And that's it. And that's they, it. Don't really, they don't brown very fast. They don't brown very fast. I mean, you can. They will brown, so you want to do it probably right before people come over 
over or the kids come over, but they will take, I mean, this has been out for probably an hour at this point, and they haven't browned yet. So uh, it will take a little bit of time. Amazing. This okay, so now amazing. we're going to make spider donuts. So you guys ready? Okay, so I'm going to let you guys okay. uh, come over this way. So and basically, all kids will like these because they come from Entenmann's and Little Bites. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you take white icing and draw um, a spider web on top of the uh, the rich frosted donut. So they have the little ones, but you want to make sure that you're getting the, the large size one. And basically to make the spider web, you just make circles, like three circles or something, one smaller than the other or one bigger than the other, depending on where you start. And then you just draw lines to make it look like a spider web. That is so clever. And, and then you take these the come already piped. They, and they come these, already piped, yes. Yeah, so you can just get that right. And I'm going to have you hold, help these me open those a little bit. These bags come already like filled. Yeah, the bag, the piping comes already filled, or they even have ones in squeezy bottles that you can actually microwave to make them a little bit thinner. We have about a minute. Just oh, want to give you a heads great. up. Great. So these are the Little Bites uh, chocolate chip mini muffins. Okay. They're great. They come in these individual packs, so you don't have to like open the whole thing. And you can actually use these for like lunch bags as well. So what you want to do is once you're done with that, and I already have one done for yeah. you. Um, um, is you're gonna put the little bites on top of the muff, on top of the donut, and you're gonna take little um, pretzels and you're gonna cut them. I've already have a couple of pre-cut for you, and then just take little googly eyes. And here, this one is already kind of half done, so, so you can see. The little bite just fits right in there. And it fits right into the so, donut hole. Isn't that so cute? Okay, before, I want you to see your boo mix before we run out of time here. Okay, great. And then that's it, and then you have a spider donut. Okay, so the boo mix, really easy to do. All you do on the bottom is just have popcorn, or you can use kettle corn as well. Okay. Uh, put some pretzels. It might get lost here, but I actually used bat and... Um, pumpkin pretzels. pretzels. Then you just put some uh, candy corn in there. You put M&Ms, &M whatever you want. Uh, mix it all together. And then I put a little bit of the eyeballs just to make it a little spooky. And serve your drinks in bleakers, which you can get at uh, beakers, which you can get <laughs> at uh, Michael's. You, yeah, right? you can get at, uh, yeah, or you can order them on Amazon, wherever you, uh, if they run out. So they're really easy to do. I'm um, really fun. All right, you're gonna find more holiday-themed food and craft ideas on Lee Moore's website. It's LeeMoreLoves.com. Thanks, Lee Moore. Thanks so much. Cute ideas. All right, there's tons to come on today's Better Show. We're gonna be learning how to make a great pasta dish, and then we're talking about wines to pair with pasta. Okay. And on the other side of the break, one of the stars of Ant-Man and the Wasp is joining us. He is a familiar face on a Friday night on CBS. Yes, you're watching Better Connecticut on this Wednesday afternoon. We're gonna be right back. Stay with us.